guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we have a refresher video. It's been a while since we talked about this, and guys, it's serious. It's definitely gotten worse. I have a hurtful hobby. I am both sorry and happy to say that I have not gotten over my very big problem of being a hat hoarder. It's gotten even worse, guys, because it's not even just down to my self-control, but it's also, I have been enabled. I am a victim of enabling, and I'm calling out Audrey, thank you for the hats. And I'm calling out my sister, thank you for the hats. They make amazing presents, and it brings me too much joy. I just can't say it enough, I have a problem. But at the same time, I'm kind of okay with it. The latest additions to my addiction have been presents. My collection has collectively continued to collect, not just from me buying, but from people's generous donations. Say hi, Kitty Cat. Meow. No meow? No meow for camera? Meow. Oh, we got a little one. Let's take a look. I hope you're ready. I, I'm ready. I'm ready to take a look at my problem. I honestly think since the last hat hoarder video, I think it's doubled. It's pretty close. I don't even remember exactly where we left off. I'm pretty sure I had my Rugrats hat at that time, but I'm not positive exactly the last hat that I had in addition to all the others. So we're gonna look at that today. Also, fun updates. Speaking of things, this is the Kitty Cats new cat tree. This was the Christmas present from Santa Claus. Get it? Ha <laughs> ha. Santa brought the kitty cats a new cat tree and they love it so much. Kitty cat tree. 10 out of 10. Are you enjoying being in the background? I saw Milo walk up, but I don't know. I think he's under the table maybe. No. <gasps> there he is. All right, guys, here we go. Seriously, starting now, here we go. Oh my Lord, it looks so extra from any perspective. This is pretty bad, guys. Oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. I have so many baseball hats. It's ridiculous. I admittedly, this is a bit silly, but I have to share with you some of the new ones that I know for sure are new. I'm going to update you guys. Let's take a look. All right. I know this one's new because my dad got this for me. This is Wisconsin Badgers ball cap represent. You guys saw this in my Disney haul video, so that's cool. I'm not sure if this one's new, but this is one of my favorites. Guys, I know bees are scary. I know bees get a bad rap. Like, I don't look at a bumblebee and be like, oh my God, it's gonna kill me. Bumblebees are sweet. Bumblebees are gentle. Bumblebees are busy bees that have to get from flower to flower to get pollen to bring back to the hive so that they can do stuff with it, make honey or whatever. Bees are busy enough. They're a little too busy to bug you. <laughs> No, but I mean, there are aggressive bees, there are hornets, there are wasps. There are some bees out there that you don't want to mess with. But for the most part, if you see a fluffy little bumble, a little bee bumbling around, don't be scared. Don't mess with it. Don't kill it. Just calmly walk away if you don't want to be by it. Be by it. <laughs> I'm going on a whole rant. Bees are amazing for the environment. Bees are so important. If you like flowers, if you like looking at pretty, pretty flowers, then leave the bees alone because they are the reason that we have pretty, pretty flowers. Kitty, don't you mess up my hat pile. <laughs> Hashtag save the bees, ladies and gentlemen. And rant. <laughs> Poor cat, one of many of my Disney hats. This one's Audrey's fault. Audrey got me this. I love it. It's baby Yoda and it's freaking adorable. It's a little cat hairy, but that's okay. I also have another Disney hat. I think you guys saw that. And speaking of hats from people, we're going to continue that journey. Um, This year, Audrey got me a sports hat. It is a hat that says 
quite plainly, sports on it. It's hilarious. I'm so glad you asked. I will tell you why. Because whenever we would go to football games or ball games, whatever, we've been to sporting events together, we would troll and just be ridiculous and say, yay, sports ball. And so this hat is hilarious for that reason because it's very generic sports. And I love sports. I, I like to play the dummy and be ridiculous and say, yeet haw that sports ball for a basket grand slam. But the fact is I grew up a jock. I know a lot about sports and I love playing them. I just like being silly and this hat is just very fitting. Okay, back to it. Along with the sports hat, Audrey also got me a dry shampoo hat. She and I are very big fans of dry shampoo. Actually, today was a dry shampoo day for me, so I should be wearing this hat right now. Anyway, I got this hat from SML Secret Santa, super fun. Kelly got me this, I begged her for it. I wanted it so badly and I love it. If you know this show, write it in the comments below in three, two, one. It's from Schitt's Creek. Probably my favorite show after The Office, Schitt's Creek, is another just, it's amazing. Oh my god, ew, David! And actually, fun facts, Alexis is one of my favorite characters to impersonate. I love that for me. Anyway, I have too much fun with that, and I do it a little too often that people might take me seriously when I'm acting like this. <laughs> but um, I'm just being goofy. Anyway, McGuire's. Look at that. I plan on doing that run again this year, so look out for that. I don't know if I'll do a video this time because that was kind of hard. You had me at coffee. Then, I don't know. I don't remember where we left off. I've definitely had that one for like ever. My Mickey Mouse, my Mickey Mouse, another Disney, love it. I know I had that. I love that one. I love that one. I love that one. I love, are you sensing a pattern here? I got this from, guess, three guesses where? Three, two, one right in the comment section below now because I got it in New Orleans. No one could have guessed that. I knew that was a hard one. Sorry, guys. Okay, Kelly also got me this one. After Australia was going through that hard time and the poor, poor koala bears were dying, I'm pretty sure we went through them all and we got most of, if not all, of the updates on which ones are new and I think we might have touch bases on some of the old ones. Yeah, that is my growing collection. My growing problem. Milo's being an emo cat because he's been dying to go outside and mommy won't let him because it's been super rainy lately and it's been super cold lately and he doesn't trust me when I tell him, Milo, it's cold, it's wet, you don't want to go outside. And he just says, mommy, please let me go outside. I'm just a kitty cat that wants freedom. You're so cute. But Milo, you failed to mention on some milder days, like when it's in the 60s, who opens the windows for kitty cats to look out and smell all the smells? I know, you poor, poor kitty cat. Well guys, I'm, that's pretty much all I got. Fun facts, this is the order that I have it organized rainbow order i just stack them on top of each other but this is the, like the order that they go yeah guys i i think that's it for this video hit the thumbs up if you liked it tell me something that you collect in the comments below and whether or not it's become an issue or if it's still like a manageable very healthy pastime i hope you guys are having a great weekend i hope you're 2023 has been amazing so far. I hope you stay happy, stay healthy, stay bright. I'll see you next time. Maybe, maybe I'll wear a hat next time. Okay, I'm done guys, ending it here. I'll see you guys soon. Love you, bye.